What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to do division and get decimal remainders. So getting a decimal remainder is kind of an advanced skill and one pass just putting the remainder sign and then the amount that you've got remaining. So let's see how we do that. Let's have a look at our steps. First says to divide, we're just gonna divide the number like normal, remembering that remainders go next door. But then here's the important part. When we get to the end, if we have anything remaining, we're gonna add a zero after the decimal and keep dividing. So let's have a look what that looks like with question one. So question one says 1,234 divided by five. So let's put it inside the bus stop. There we go. And let's start dividing just like step one says. So first question, how many fives are there in one? And I can't get any fives out of one, so I'll put a zero, and then I can move the one next door, make that to a 12. Now I can ask how many fives are there in 12, and there's obviously two with the remainder two. Now I can ask how many fives are there in 23? Well, I have four, and this time, three remainder. And my final question says, how many fives are there in 34? Well, there's six. But here's where we're gonna do something differently. Because usually what we could do is we could just write remainder four up here. But we're trying to upskill our work here and do something a bit more formal. So let's get rid of that. And let's think about what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to achieve a decimal remainder. So therefore it makes sense that we should have a decimal in place. So I can put my decimal in place on both lines, and here in my question, I can just add a zero after my decimal. And hopefully what we understand about place value and number is that zero doesn't change the value of my number. I still have 1,234. In fact, I could put unlimited zeros here, and it's still not going to change the number. But for now, we're just gonna put one, and I'm simply going to put my remainder four in front of it. And now my last question says, how many fives are there? in 40, and there's eight. And now I have no remainders, and I finish with only one number after the decimal place. So we would call this answer to one decimal place. So my answer to 1,234 divided by five is 246.8. Don't forget that decimal point, obviously really important. Okay, let's have a look at a more challenging one then. Let's have a look at this red chili challenge, and let's set out my numbers just like before. There we go. And again, I can simply ask myself the first question, which is, how many eights are there in five? Well, there'll be zero. And I'm gonna roll my five across to the next door and ask myself, how many eights are there in 57? Well, I can get to 56 by having seven groups of eight, and then I would have one left over. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. I'm gonna put my decimal in place on both lines, and I'm gonna put a zero. And now I can just put that remainder one into my tenths column in front of the zero, making it a 10. And now my next question says, how many eights are there in 10? Well, there's one eight in 10, but this time I've got another remainder. So guess what? That's right, I need another zero. Let's put him in place. There we go. So I had two remainder, so I can put that in front of my zero, and now I have 20. How many eights are there in 20? Well, there's two. I can get to 16. But oh my gosh, I have another remainder. I have a remainder four. So, believe it or not, I'm gonna use another zero. Remember, none of these zeros are changing the value of my number. Now I can put the four in front of it again and ask what I think will be the final question. How many eights are there in 40? <sighs> There's a whole five. And there we go. I've managed to finish my answer. And my answer to 57 divided by eight is 7.125. And this answer has three decimal places. Okay, there you go. That is everything you need to know about dividing and getting a decimal remainder. So what should we remember? First, divide as normal. And then when we get a final remainder, we can just add a zero after the decimal, remembering that that doesn't change the value. Keep dividing until we have no remainders. And there you go, you're gonna have a decimal answer. Here are three questions for you to have a go at. Take your time, pause the video, and see if you can get these answers right. Put your answers in the comment section. And there we have it, guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel and check out my website, www.thematsguide.com. See you in another video. But for now, peace out.